Casey. Ms. Emmy Rose Delaporte from the Midlothian District. I have the honor of presenting her to you this evening. She has achieved the rank of Eagle Scout. Not only is that the highest advancement in, in scouting, which is a tremendous accomplishment, but she is also the first female in Chesterfield County to obtain Eagle Scout. At this time, I ask that Emmy, along with her family members, come forward to be recognized. Madam Clerk, will you read the resolution? Whereas the Boy Scouts of America was incorporated by Mr. William D. Boyce on February 8, 1910, and was chartered by Congress in 1916. And whereas the Boy Scouts of America was founded to build character, provide citizenship training, and promote physical fitness. And whereas after earning at least 21 merit badges in a wide variety of skills, including leadership, service in outdoor life, serving in a leadership position in a troop, carrying out a service project beneficial to her community, being active in a troop, demonstrating scout spirit and living up to the scout oath and law, Ms. Amelia Rose Delaporte of Troop 542, sponsored by Shady Grove United Methodist Church, has accomplished those high standards of commitment and has reached the long sought goal of Eagle Scout, which is received by only 4% of those individuals entering the scouting movement. And whereas growing through her experiences in scouting, learning the lessons of responsible citizenship, and endeavoring to prepare herself for a role as a leader in society, Amelia has distinguished herself as a member of a new generation of prepared young citizens of whom we can all be very proud. Now therefore be it resolved that the Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors this 28th day of July 2021 publicly recognizes Ms. Amelia Rose Delaporte, extends congratulations on her attainment of Eagle Scout and acknowledges the good fortune of the county to have such an outstanding young lady as its citizen. Do I have a motion so to moved. approve? All in favor, aye. aye. Well, first of all, we are really, really pleased because this is the first time we've had the opportunity to recognize a, a woman coming through the ranks of Eagle Scout. And I will tell you, this is one of the favorite things we get to do because honestly, you are the next generation of leadership. You've already proven that. So I'm really curious, being the woman on the board here and also being, you're in my district, to, to kind of hear your story about, you know, number one, kind of why you chose to go this route and then also to hear about your project. And it sounds to me like recognizing that they've only really accepted girls in the last couple of years, the challenge that you've already attained Eagle Scout in that short amount of time. So I know that's a lot, but whatever you're comfortable talking about, um, you know, and also introducing your parents, because I know that that was part of the journey. Hi, uh, my name is Emilia Delaporte. My troop is 542. We're based out of Mechanicsville, so we're not actually in Chesterfield, but I do live here in Midlothian. My troop actually uh, has girls from three different uh, counties, Hanover, Chesterfield, and Henrico, because there's not very many female troops in the area, and you know, the bigger the better. So when we find one that we like with lots of girls, we tend to go for it. Um, 542 was actually my third troop. I was a part of one in Midlow, and when I met the girls up in Mechanicsville, I knew I just had to go to them. I started in the National Capital area in uh, Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, we're a military family, so I went to seven different schools in seven consecutive years. So, yeah, that's a lot. It's a bit of a mouthful, too. Um, so my dad, uh, Bruce, is an Army veteran, and my mom, Grace, is obviously an Army wife, which is just as much of a chore. <laughs> um, my project in particular was for Midlothian High School. I'm a member of the marching band. I just graduated, but last year I was a section leader for the Piccolos. And when I was a sophomore, I got my only march, or not my sophomore, I was a junior there when I got my singular marching season. The second was cut short because of COVID. But when I was a junior there, I realized we didn't have anywhere to sit. We were either sitting on the sidewalk or on the dirt or in the back of the tuba section leader's car because there was no shade. 
<laughs> so either you'd sit in the dirt under the trees or you'd sit on the sidewalk in the sun. And I figured we should probably have somewhere for at least the freshmen to sit so we don't scare them away and they come back for the next season because we all know music programs are getting a little bit smaller as we keep going on. So I brought my girls down from Mechanicsville and I think about 12 of us attended the project plus our adult leadership and we built three benches representing my three high schools, three states, three middle schools, three marching bands, three troops. There's a lot of threes in my life. Um, and that was done in August of last year. Wow. So I don't, I don't think I really have to say much more about being the future leader because it clearly is we have a leader amongst us right here. And so, um, you know, we wish you the absolute best. Thank you for coming out and sharing your story with us. You know, we have shared with you um, our copy of the resolution as well as a special patch from Chester Hill County. We wish you the best and congratulations again.